Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 30, Equation of a Straight Line, part of my IGCSE exam question series. If you do find it useful, please do like and subscribe, but for now, let's get into the maths. Okay, we'll get started with a question one, and we've been asked to work out the midpoint of AB. Well, the midpoint is the average position. So we have the x's here, and we want to work out what's essentially halfway. So we'll add them together and we will find the average x coordinate and we'll do the same for the y's. We will add them together and we'll find the average. So this is going to give us um, uh, 3 plus 5, sorry, 5 plus 15, 5 plus 13 which is uh, 18 and then divided by 2 which is 9 and then over here the y's it's minus 4 uh, plus 1 and then divide that by 2 is minus 3 over 2. Okay, work out the gradient of the line. Well, the equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. So if I want to write it in that form, I'd have to write y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. And the gradient is what's multiplied by the x when y is the subject. And that is 3, or minus 3, sorry. Make sure you don't write minus 3x, because that would be wrong. The gradient is just a number. It's a constant. It is not a function of x. And then we're asked, does this point lie on the line? Well, if it did, then it would satisfy this equation. And let's check if it does. If we sub in 100, then I would get y is equal to 2 minus 3 times by 100 and 2 minus 3 times by 100 is actually minus 298 and that's not equal to minus 302 like it said it should be so therefore the answer is no it does not Okay, next one is a classic. Let's draw the graph of y plus 2x is equal to 6. Okay, so we can rearrange that to get y is equal to minusing 2x on both sides, minus 2x plus 6. Now again, we can compare this to y is equal to mx plus c. And we can see that the c value is 6 and the c value is the y-intercept. So it's going to cross the axis at 6. And then we can look at the gradient. And the gradient is minus 2. So that means for every 1 I go across, I'm going to have to go down 2. I'm going to carry this on and go 1 across, 2 down, 1 across, 2 down, 1 across, and 2 down. And I'm going to mark these as my coordinates. And then I'm going to draw a straight line that connects through them. Just like this. Perfect. Okay, next question. We've been asked to work out an equation for this line. Well, first off, I'm going to look at the y-intercept of plus 1. And I'm going to write y is equal to mx plus c, as always. So we're going to have plus 1 as the intercept. And the gradient, I'm going to go 2 across, and I need to go up 3. So the rise is 3, and the run is 2. And the gradient is the rise over the run. So it's 3 over 2. And we times that by x, and we write y equals... And there we have it, y equals 3 over 2x plus 1. Another similar question, I'm going to look at the y-intercept first. I'm going to write y equals mx plus c. The y-intercept is minus 1, so I know minus 1 is c. And then I am going to look at the run across here and the rise, or in this case the fall. So you've got 1 across and you have to go down 2, so minus 2. So the gradient is the rise over the run. So this is minus 2 over 1. So minus 2 over 1. 
times that by x and we write y equals so simplifying gives me y equals minus 2x minus 1 okay next question we've got a uh, another uh, midpoint question and it's asking us to work out what the values of a and b are well the midpoint of the x will be minus 3 plus 47 divided by 2 and the midpoint of the y will be 11 plus b divided by 2 so the actual midpoint of the x is a so a is equal to uh, minus 3 plus 47 is 44 then divide that by 2 so a is 22 and over here we have 11 plus b over 2 is equal to minus 19 so 11 plus b is equal to minus 38 so b is equal to minus 49 okay let's question we're asked to work out which two lines are parallel well parallel lines have the same gradient so let's write each of these in terms of y equals mx plus c well first one's done for us already great that tells me the gradient there is 2 um, this one we need to divide everything by 2 to get y is equal to um, 6 minus 1.5x so that tells me the gradient there is minus 1.5 and over here, we're going to need to uh, minus 4x from both sides, um, which gives me uh, this. Divide both sides by minus 2. So that will give me, and then the minus will be plus, and then divide by 2 is going to give you 2x. So this is going to give me a gradient of 2. And the last one here, you can see the gradient is minus 2, because it's already y equals. So the two with uh, the same gradient are c and a. Okay, so it says a line has a gradient of minus 5 over 2 and passes through the points 1, 3. Find an equation of the line. Okay, great. So we just type, we type, sorry, we write y equals mx plus c. And we sub in, we sub in a point and the gradient and we work out our c value. So we have the y value is 3 at this particular point. The gradient is always minus 5 over 2 times it by the x value at this point plus c. This gives me 3 is equal to, um, let's call that minus 2.5, plus C. Add that over, and that's going to give me 5.5 is equal to C. So I have Y is equal to minus, uh, 5 over 2 is 2.5, X plus 5.5. It wants it in this particular form and where everything is integers, so I'm going to times the whole equation through by 2. And then I'm going to bring the x's and the y's over to the left hand side to get 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. And that's the form they have asked us to leave it in. Okay, a quick two marks here. If I just find the gradient. Well, I need to write 2y. I need to get y on its own, so I'm going to minus 5x from both sides. And then I'm going to divide through by 2 to give me as follows. And once I can line it up with y is equal to mx plus c, it's easy to see that the gradient is whatever's multiplied by the x. So that is minus 2.5. And remember, don't write x. Okay, next question. We need to ask, we've been asked whether or not this is parallel. Well, we need to work out the gradient of each. So the gradient of the first one we would get by uh, rearranging this. So what I'll do is I will uh, plus the 4y to the other side. And then I'll minus the 5. 
and then I'll divide through by 4, so I get 3 quarters x minus 5 over 4 is equal to y. So I could write this as y is equal to 3 quarters x minus 5 over 4. And again, now I can line it up with y is equal to mx plus c. And I can tell the gradient is 3 over 4. And working out the gradient from two points, I will need to use the formula that m is equal to y2 minus y1, so the change in the y over the change in the x. So let's take that as y2, so that's 3, which means y1 is 7, and x2 is minus 1, and x1 is 4. So this is going to give me minus 4 on top, and it's going to give me minus 5 on the bottom, which is 4 over 5. And these two gradients are not equal, therefore the lines are not parallel. Not parallel. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you did find it useful, please do like and subscribe. That's straight lines done. There is a uh, second straight line uh, video which includes perpendicular lines, so check that out uh, and then try the next topic. Bye for now.